We're at the finals of the Westchester August Open. We have Jian Li in the near court, blue shirt, playing against Olajadi Omatayo from Nigeria, who's living and playing and training right now in New York. My name is Ben Nisbet. We're underway. Beautiful first point club. John Lee being the defensive player, he'll be back looking to get comfortable off the table. In his forehand mostly. Hey, G -Day. That's his, that's his Knicks name, that's what we're going to call him for this match. Uh, classic Nigerian spin player, defense. Although Jian Lee is really a classic, classic def defending good match. Definitely, as you saw there, he's not scared to, uh, to swing his forehand. Jide has played quite well today. Beat Zirui Zhao 3-0 in the group stage. And upset Ka Zhang, the number two seed in the semifinals, 3-1. Ball was just smoked there. G Day seems to be uncomfortable with uh, Lee. First game to Jian Lee. Stay tuned for game two. Here for game two. Jidae just played a terrific match against Kai Zhang, all offense, and uh, here and start to read the spin and put the ball in play. He changed this match around. Nice spin loop. Much as you can against a modern defender. Throw it up into the middle. Very popular amongst Nigerian players. here at 9-8 in the second game. two points on and Jan Lee made the adjustment, but won the game anyways. Nicely played. Jide takes it on the serve. Game three, this should be a terrific third game. Josh, what do you think is going to happen here? Uh, on his backhand service and uh, Lee Jian winning the majority of his points when he gets it for an attack in first. So, uh, they're still not comfortable playing more than one or two balls into Jian Lee's backhand on the table. Be 
spin. <laughs> Went right in the net. We're all even here at four in the uh, third game. Backhand, let's see what happens here. Another point off the backhand serve for GJ. That was just thrown up high and deep, wasn't it? That was an interesting serve. Yeah. Six five. Oh, nicely played with the long pips. Punched it wide to the forehand. Second time he's coming with that this match, this game. And again, G they did not read that ball correctly. He put it right in the bottom of the net. That looked like it had no spin also to me. Lee's now got a two games to one lead. Stay tuned for game four. We'll get, we're back here for game four. Jian Lee played that game masterfully. So Josh, what what does uh, G Day have to do here to try and take this game and make it a five game match? Um, you put a lot of balls in the net that looks high, but they were loaded with underspin. He's got to be a little more patient, throw up some softer loops, push a couple balls, keep. If you're Dion Lee, you keep changing the spin and the pace because it worked for you in the last game. Stay within yourself, don't have to be mixing up spins and speed. Oh, nicely played there. See if you can capitalize. Two big points, tie this game at four. It looks like Jian Lee's playing a little more offense this game here. Yeah. Punching on the backhand, looping on the forehand, scored a lot of points. Oh, we have a timeout? We'll be back soon. We're back here after the timeout. Josh, what do you expect to see from G-Day these, these next couple of points since he called the timeout? I wouldn't be surprised if we saw him only serving back answers for the rest of this match. And, um, yeah, here he goes right to the back answer. We'll see what he can do off that. Well, that was a nice play there. He sent Lee John out wide to the forehand. Always a tough spot to get to. Again, not the right ball to go for the winner on Gita just being a little too impatient here in this fourth game. Finds himself down two points. I don't know, Josh. That looked like so tempting to put it in. That's a beautiful shot by Jan Lee there to take an 8-5 lead. This is a big, big, big point for Gita. He's going to need to score this point. Oh, just changes the rhythm. Took that ball right off the bounce, changed the angle. Jude had no chance. Finds himself down 5 9 with the serve. For those of you who use long pips, Jian Lee is just putting on an exhibition on how you use it because it's not static. He's side swiping the ball, he's coming in, he's punching it, he's doing so many different things. Yeah, his, ser it's, his service return with the long pips is second to none. And that ball actually had no spin on it. You yeah. see G Day put that long. Did not read that one. So tough. sometimes you can read it, but your body does something else, right? Yeah, it's to not only read it but to react to it. Yeah. Got three game points here. 
see if he can close it out on his serve. There you saw Jude be a little more patient. Just spin that ball up and put it back and wait for John Lee to make a mistake. Let's see, what he could have, let's see what he can do here with two serves. He does have the serve. He's got a couple of combos open for him. That worked. So spin into the middle and wide. We got a timeout here. That was an interesting timeout, Josh. Uh, what does uh, G Day do here with the serve? Where does he put it? What serve? What do you think? I think he's got to stick with that backhand serve deep to the right corner with no spin. Let's see. There it is. Beautifully played. Both players. Nice game. Hope you enjoyed the match. John Lee just put on a nice performance here. G Day is a terrific player and it went 3 1. Josh, any comments? This is a great match. John Lee, masterful with those long pips. Really made G Day uncomfortable the whole match. Yeah, enough to win. Yeah. Enough to win. Thank you for watching. Yeah, thanks for watching.